Lost in the woods, got nothing but my knife, need to start a fire. Let's do it, y'all. Damn, should have been a wrap. These salsify seed heads should make good tinder. So we've got some really useful stuff here. This is a stump from a ponderosa pine. You can see all of this resin just oozing out of this thing. This is fat wood and it is a ready-made natural fire starter. This is elderberry, and it's a fantastic plant to know. It's very widespread, it's got edible qualities, medicinal qualities, it's actually been scientifically proven to reduce the longevity and severity of viruses. It's also one of the best friction fire materials on the planet. There's a dead branch right here, I'm gonna grab that. So I was in here looking for a bow for a bro drill set and I noticed all of this has been browsed. This is from a deer and you can tell that it's from an ungulate versus a rabbit or a rodent because the little ends where they've browsed are torn instead of cut. Rodents and rabbits will cut them at a 45 almost like you did it with a knife. Service berries. Nice. Fireboard. Spindle. bearing block
tie a bowline knot. It's one of the most useful knots you will ever learn. Very simple and it'll come apart every time so you can reuse your rope. Ideally, you're going to have some sort of lubrication on your bearing block to try to reduce friction at this point as much as possible. Now, if you've been in the woods for a couple days and you haven't bathed, you can get oil from the sides of your nose and your hair. Uh, but if you can't get enough from there, you can use pine pitch, which works okay. It's not great, but it does work in a pinch. That's what we're going to use today. So I'm just burning in my divot so that I can cut my notch. That ought to be good. When you're making this notch, you do not want to go all the way to the center of the hole. You want to be maybe a third of the way out from the center. So at first, I'm not putting any pressure on it, just enough to keep that in there. I'm not going very fast. I'm just trying to heat up everything and create that dust. When that notch fills up with dust, then I'll increase the speed and the pressure to try to get a coal. So this may only take a few seconds, or it may take a minute or more, depending on the moisture content of the materials you're working with. So I can see some dust starting to form in my notch. Kind of a dark brown. So 
So the notch is overflowing with dust. Now we're ready. Once your notch is full, you start getting good smoke, then you can start applying more pressure and speed. Should take just a few seconds. So there should be a coal inside this dust here. You can see you've got a got smoke coming from it. There's no rush, no hurry. So you can remove your, your fireboard. See that stream of smoke that's still coming up? All right, so I'm just gonna wrap my tinder bundle around don't don't crush the coal but give it give it a little love you should see it start to grow go take our little fine twigs and put on there a little bit of fat wood move your a little bit bigger material don't burn your fingers So of course, these are ideal conditions. It's been very dry. I had really good materials to work with. And so once you get the technique down and know some of the finer points of starting a bow drill fire, it's actually pretty easy in conditions like this. And if you're a beginner just getting started with this, this is the kind of conditions that you wanna work in just to build your confidence. But once you advance in your skill a little bit, you need to start going out into the woods and practicing in less than perfect conditions because I can guarantee when you're in the woods, 99% of the time, it's gonna be less than perfect. Now it's summertime in Idaho, and we don't get a lot of rain this time of year, but if there's enough interest in it, later on this fall, when we start to get a little bit more precipitation, I'll show you how to start a friction fire when everything's damp. All right, I gotta put my boot lace back in my boot. All right, guys, I'm gonna be here for a while. We'll see you on the next one.